So we are checking on the beets today. Radishes. Or radishes. This yeah. is a weird shaped one. <laughs> it's like it's like one, two, three radishes in one. Yeah, we we kind of got sidetracked and we were supposed to thin these out. Oh, sorry for the wind. Holy cow. But uh aren't very big yet. I think we ought to let these ones go a little longer. Okay. You wanna check the next ones? Yeah, this the past two weeks we've had some medical issues and dealing with other things and it slipped away from us. Now see these are just the regular radishes. Yeah. We are, uh, we do have the whole, <laughs> I just noticed that yeah, one. I know, that's the one I saw. Holy cow. Well, one of these are supposed to be giant whites. I don't remember which one we uh, put it in though. Ooh, we got to pick your peppers before those plants die too. Wow. Not that one. That's some odd looking radishes. Yeah. Oh, that's a nice looking one. Yeah. Yeah, we're not going to pick them all. We're just going to pick a few to help thin it out a little bit. And then. This thing's like giant, but like no radish to the end of it. Can we stick it back in? Maybe stick it in um, over on the other side. Yeah, well, it's already pulled out. Oh, of okay. Well, that's a nice little one. Yeah. Some of these. Get a little longer. Yeah, nice. get the ones that look like they're good on top. Oh, you got a couple. Wow, this tire did really good. I don't know what kind of radishes these are. But well, we remember we got to plant these guys again. Well, remember we we planted giant whites and then some regular radishes. Yeah, let's see about this one. Thin out some of the ones that look, definitely look like they are bigger, and look some of the other ones. Oh, there's some in the back. I see. Wow. You look like you're having way too much fun pulling these up. <laughs> oh, I like these guys. Those are nice. These are gonna be good for my lunches. And yeah. Like radishes, like I'm excited about that. Them. I'm just excited about that one. Good Lord. Wow. That one split. That's okay. That's all right. We get down. It's still good. Yeah. I, you know, I was going to say, let that one grow. I'm going to let yeah. the other ones go. Yeah. Here, let's check this one. This one got covered up. Move the, uh, the sweet potato vines out of the way, too. You gotta push them down or move them. This one like split in half. Really? Yeah, move those sweet potato vines out of the way. Careful. Yeah. You see, oh, a radish came out, I think. Or did it? No. Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll have to pull yeah. this one, too. You want to leave the rest and... No, this one's actually out. There's a weird one that split. 
push it in the ground. It might sprout another one. It ain't gonna sprout. Hey, it, it ain't gonna hurt. What is it gonna hurt? I'm gonna <laughs> feed it to the easy goats. All right, put that up and let's um let's clear up the vines and then let's see if we can um harvest some of your uh, baby bells over there. And our carrots are really doing not that great right now. Uh, cilantro is coming up a little bit. But I have two. <laughs> um, oh, you got some peppers ready. Yeah. Look at those. Those are so nice. This one's torn and that one's a big one too. Oh, that's some baby bells. Okay, I can dehydrate those. Yeah. We should, you know what? Look, an Everglades tomato. <laughs> Are you sure that's an Everglades? Yes, that's an Everglades. That is an Everglades tomato. I can tell. Yeah, it looks like an Everglades. All right. Um. Oh, look, we got it. They're growing. Oh, awesome. The beans. I don't know how if they're gonna grow through the winter or not. So over here was the beets, it didn't and well. only those have survived. Oh, I think maybe you're right. I think maybe we should um, double up on the tires. Yeah. And then that way, one they'll be higher. I want these dehydrated too? Okay. Do you want to take some of that stuff in while I go and fix the uh, beans? Sure. The pole or get the uh, Asian Yarlon beans spiraling? Bring that, um, just bring out another uh, container because I'm going to check the butterfly pea stuff too. Okay? Not feeling great on these carrots. No, the carrots are eh. They wimped out on us. So that's cilantro. We've got a couple of them growing. Yeah, and then those the um the other side has uh that cosmo flower. Remember I put in flowers for the uh to see if we could produce some flowers, you know, for the fall for the bees. We're gonna do lettuce in these. Yeah, we are. We can't. I'm saying it, it, um remember I put in cosmo. I put in Cosmo flowers in that to see if we can grow them yeah, for the bees. But growing. yeah, I think we ought to plant some lettuce in here. Um, I don't know what you want to do about this. We'll go see if they come. Okay. Um, and then also to the tires that don't have anything over here, we can try planting something else right. for the cold season. So do this go ahead and get those inside i'm going to take care of this stuff come back out with a container okay and then that way we can uh harvest a little bit of something else okay look at my butterfly pea i'm gonna harvest see if i can get some seeds it got really cold on us luna <laughs> The sweet potato bites are just as big as you. <laughs> Hold on. I have my hands all up in the way. Are you good now? Yep. Wow, that's... Good, ain't it? Holy hell. It's got a nice sweet tart and then it's... Oh, there's that <laughs> sour taste. That little bite. Woo! A little uh, peppery bite. Yeah, really. Yeah. Are you a pasta for spur in? <laughs> I was thinking nanu nanu. We're <laughs> <laughs> good. Woo! I need. Oh, oh it's got that. It's got that, that oomph to it. That bite. Mm. Spicy. Holy mm. cow, that's... <laughs> that's something else. That is something else. Um, mm. Did we need to check any bananas? Mm. Yes, look. All right, I'm going to go to my butterfly. Yeah, we got tires here. 
Yeah, there were some peppers growing in there, but they didn't do too well. We gotta, we gotta get at this. this one. Yeah. We're really gonna have to buckle down. What are these dwarf? Banana down, banana tree down. What happened here? It's kind of grown sideways here. I think we got all the racks from these guys. Yeah. These sweet potatoes are really taking over this area. We only use them, the sweet potatoes in here for ground cover because they, uh, it's so wet, they rot in the ground. But they keep the ground covered, keep the weeds from growing too bad. And um, they put a lot of, when they do rot, they're putting energy into the ground for us. Luna, get off the tires. Oh, here's some more of the peppers I didn't see. Boy, these storms kind of really shattered. Shattered these guys pretty good. Got a good. couple more peppers here. Oh, you found some more. Nice. You want to um, go and explain what happened? your duckies? No. So we had a raccoon attack and uh, they, they got into this cage, this enclosure, and they killed four of the seven call ducks that I have. And uh, it was really upsetting because these these, you know, it's upsetting when you lose a farm animal, but, but when you lose some that are, you actually consider pets, it's even worse. And they killed some of my favorite ones. But we got this other, we put this cage in here and I'm putting, putting the uh, call ducks and the chickens in that uh, little rabbit hutch and I'm putting blocks on top of it so the raccoons can't open the lid because they actually opened the lid um and got some of my uh um my bantam chickens earlier this year which really upset me so i put blocks on it and they can't get it open but i'm going to be building doors on all of these coops right now you can see the plywood over here i'm putting the chickens inside the coops putting all the animals up and then uh, screwing the uh, boards over the front so nothing can get into them. I've got the boards over there for that one. These guys are going in there. I put these guys up at night and put these boards over the holes. Because these are the uh, breast chickens and these uh, breast rooster plus some of our um, just barnyard chickens here. Chick or yeah that we are uh, getting eggs from. I'm trying to get some of the breast DNA in our egg layers. So that's where we're going to be getting. These are my egg layer breeders and these are going to be my meat bird breeders.
they got don't know if Amy's going to actually put this on there but this is uh, a carcass of one of the ducks of our full size ducks that they got last night we didn't get them put up all of them put up in the in the uh, bigger coop over here but tonight we're going to have to make sure we can get them in and screw it shut we're going to go get some lights and put up I got one solar light right here. I got the solar panel. This is one that Clyde chewed on the, um, at the beginning of the year. I patched the wires together. But I've got it over here. I've got the actual light over here so that if uh, I got it down low, so if some animal comes by this way, it flips it on. And hopefully we get enough sun underneath this tree to keep that somewhat powered.